All right, if I can just get six of those, like those four, you laugh. You want to be hanging around at least all gold at 90, at least around there anyway. It's got to be relaxed, let don't fight that shot. As soon as you fight it at 90 meters, whoa, she's way out. Way out! Way out. Well, at least I know I can shoot 90 metres with these arrows without having to aim off. I think last time I shoot, I was aiming at the top of the black. You know what I'd just like to do? Get me bear shaft and make sure I'm standing square to the target. Oh, look at that one. So I'm just putting an arrow down on the ground, pointing towards the target so I can see me feet line. So make sure I'm standing square to the target. Or square open to the target. I stand a fraction open lately. So here we go, relaxed. Don't fight the shot. Just let it happen. Well that one was in there. Oh, that one's way high. Another high one. Just relax. That was better. I just gotta not fight it. It's when I fight it, I flick up. It was low left, but that's where it was when I shot it. Fracting low.
I've got a half decent group, four in, four out again. And it's not the same arrow as I tested it. I kept the um, four that went in separate last time <clears throat> and shot them first to see if it was the arrows staying out, not me. It's definitely me. Those last four, man, I've grouped them together good. Just gotta relax, don't I? I say it easier said than done, though. That's the thing, easier said than done. What a beautiful day to be shooting, though. Rainy and overcast yesterday. Only I could shoot all eight like those four. Why do I get four good and four bad? Four really good and four really bad. Yeah, it's this for a hundred yard group. Hectic, so I am just a fraction low. That's right, I'll just have to start aiming here. That's not too far to aim off. Because I'm at the limit at the moment. Alright, let's shoot six and score them. See what scores I'm looking at. All right, so let's shoot six and see what type of scores I'm looking at. Nice if I keep them all around the guard. I want to be hitting well into the 50s. I can't be shooting anything lower than 50 at least. So there we go. Ah, oh, the clouds look awesome today up there. Can you see them up there? How cool do they look? Cool looking clouds today, that's for sure. So what's that? That was the fourth one, was it? Do you know why I think it's easy for me to hold a bow up too? I'm holding the camera out like this constantly. I'm constantly like this, holding the camera out. No wonder my shoulders like don't feel that bow. So that's pretty, it's pretty fatiguing. You try and hold something out straight for like 10 minutes. I just noticed that because I was starting to go, oh, my shoulder's getting sore from holding the camera up. So maybe that's why the whole the year of holding the camera up like this has made me shoulder strong. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Let's relax this one. Try and get a good score and end. Okay. Let's not try, let's concentrate. There's an eight. I let it go a little bit to the left though. I could feel that before I shot it that I was going to be a bad one.
relax. There we go. Pulling them all over to the left for some reason. That was better. You know what I think it is? I'm too tense in the back end. Those last couple I started really trying to relax the back end. Keeping it relaxed the whole time. Screw it, let's shoot these last two arrows. Tell you what the story is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty-seven. Miles off a good school. That's right, that's why we're practicing. So no tension in the release hand. That was in the gold. No tension in the release hand. Oh, that was a ten. All right, that's better. Okay, so now, next one, let's just work on relaxing that release hand. No tension in the release hand. No tension in the front hand, no tension in the back hand. No tension anywhere. That's what I'm gonna work on. Get rid of that tension. I'll tell you what, I can feel it when I was drawing back. I could, like, as I was drawing back, I could feel, oh, this is gonna be a good shot. I couldn't work out what I was feeling. And what it was, was the relaxed release hand. Relaxed release hand was what made it feel good for pulling back in the in the draw. So this next one, let's try that. Just whole round, whole end. Relaxed bow hand. Oof. Alright, so I only had two in there. Those last two were here and here. So that's the difference. Relax. Relax that bow hand. Relax bow hand, let's give it a go. 
I know it relaxed, but I'm in relaxed, relaxed release hand. Let's relax that release. And Jesse Broadwater is like a, a major advocate of the release, relax in the old um, release hand. He's got a mad YouTube video, not a YouTube video, Facebook video on Bow Junkie Media, I think. On him telling you how he relaxes his hand and how he shoots his release. It's a great video. Great video. Alright, so let's try that one. What's this? The sixth end? release relaxed release Well, that was it there. <laughs> okay, relax, release. Just keep concentrating on that. Another high one. I wonder if I am getting contact on the... Every now and again, I'm getting contact on the thing. Well, that wasn't a bad shot, I just wasn't in the center then, so that hit where I was aiming. Nice, relaxed bow in. Another high one, I can tell when I'm going to flick them up high. Ridiculous. No bow hand. They've got a bow, relaxed bow hand, relaxed back hand. Relaxed every hand. Forty-nine, getting better, I guess. Get rid of that six, and I'll be right. That one was a good one. The sides are in. Good one. 
I'd say. I don't want anything outside the eight region. That would be good. Anything inside the eight, I'll be laughing. Really want all golds with maybe one eight. That's how you want it. That's what you want to be shooting at 90. If you to crack the 1400, man, you must be shooting good to shoot it at 90 to crack that. Wow. You have to be averaging about 55s or 56s. Maybe even more to crack that 1400. Definitely some good shooting, that's for sure. So the 49 that one was, let's see if I can beat it on the next one. Keep both hands relaxed. So I won't be winning no comp shooting 49s, let me tell you. So we've got 10, 9, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 6. Just get rid of these bad shots, I'll be laughing. See, that's not a bad one, that's a 54, 53. 53 I'd be happy with. See if I can be 49. Alrighty. 90 meters. If I can beat 49 this one. I wonder where Greg is, he's taking his time. I'll we'll be finished with the time he gets here. Really need a new belt. This one's really digging into me lately. Digging into me hip, probably because I'm getting so fat. Definitely need to get back into some exercise. Started running last night actually. Started running, man, I nearly died. Got on my legs with jelly, everything was screwed. Only ran about five Ks. So that's the new thing, running every day. Try and get fit again. There is a bit of a line on this knock, maybe I'm hitting the um, scope. Sorry, a bit of a line on this vein. Relax both hands. I've 
happy that I didn't miss. Glasses wigged me out then, I don't know, I wigged myself out. Ridiculous, what is it, a five? Another six. But it's a low left, so it's not the veins. It's just me. Well, that was another ridiculous one. I'm trying to, I just relax and let it that bow shoot itself. Okay, so that one was a definite one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, another 13 down, another 47, another 47. God damn it. Can't believe that. Shooting 47s, I definitely won't be winning. God, hopeless. Another right. Oh, that's bad shooting. My draw length, it's too long. I don't know how my draw length can get longer all of a sudden. Feels like my anchor point's going from here to here. Hmm. Then if I shorten my draw length, it's going to change everything. He's ever had that at home at home? Feels like your draw length's changed all of a sudden. I don't know how it can though. It must be me. But I don't know how my anchor point can change from here to here. I'm stretching my arms as far forward as I can. I don't know what's going on. I might go home and shorten my draw length actually. Can't be shooting it with no real anchor point. I'm like floating around back here. Oh, what's going on? Alright, I'm going to length shorten me draw length, I think. Alright guys, let's have a look at this. Shocking. Okay, I'm going home short me draw length. I'll see you tomorrow for um shorter draw length, see if my groups improve. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Yeah.